Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastige of Skin. Today we're doing a cold open, looking at the demo of Heroes of the Monkey Tavern demo. <laughs> so, uh, the demo, the icon for this, and the demo uh, it honestly caught me off guard on the PlayStation Network because it didn't seem like it was a thought out game it looked like something that i might have seen on like a on the old steam green light stuff it's just like because of the tavern monkey drawing of the white background didn't look that impressive but this caught my attention whenever i went and looked at the video so let's check it out so obviously it's a we unity game obviously a pc game that's been ported across two consoles for us to play i'm just going to go in here and bring down the music a tiny touch because i've found these games so far i've actually been quite um obtuse in their audio that when, even whenever I'm talking and I have a dipped, it'll still be too loud to actually kind of go over the top of myself. Uh, language in English, yes. And we'll go in here. Oh, music. Is there literally a thing specifically for listening to the music? No. That's all. It's blanked out because it's a demo, I suppose. So, we're going into new. We're going to join a new adventure at the Monkey Tavern. Every story has a beginning. Indeed it does. Ours begins in a tavern. The Monkey Tavern. <laughs> Where four heroes, yes, four great heroes, who are MSTing their own adventure. <laughs> A few days ago, they were rich. But it was a few days ago. Now they even have to sell their precious equipment to keep the party going. Until there is nothing to sell. <laughs> Not even the bar wench. Comes a man who will change the turn of this masquerade. Turn of this masquerade? Hey guys. I heard your stories. You seem to be four strong heroes. Alright, from now onwards, I'm gonna voice it. Something. Who could accept something challenging? Because, because I, know, I know a place where you will, where find, you will find tremendous treasures. But, but I have to warn you, there are terrible, 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 terrible darkness to be found. They thirst for adventure. They thirst for adventure? Well, at least I brought a flag of adventure with me. So essentially, it's an adventure to the top of the tower. Let's. Like, I love the fact that like, I know of a place where there's treasures. So like, really? You don't think all of us know about that? It's fucking huge. <laughs> all right. So portraits, uh, chicks. All the chicks. Chick, chick, chicks. Chick, chick, to go now. Gonna take the hood off that one. This is where the rest of them actually have like their faces shown. I'm not too sure I actually really like the draw lady. That's more like it. All oh, the redheads! Yay! <laughs> so we have a warrior, a barbarian, a priest, and an elementalist. Okay. And um obviously do we get the oh we can we can choose our stats. Ooh, okay. So we'll go into the bar. We'll go to our warrior first, and we're obviously going to drop it into strength and vitality. And then we go to our barbarian. We drop it into strength and vitality. <laughs> and we go to our priest, and we drop it into intelligence. And we go to our elementalist. What is an elementalist? Has attained the whole magical knowledge of this world in order to perform the most powerful attacks on his enemies. I'm assuming it's gonna be intelligence <laughs> because. That's what you do. And we'll go for an easy to actually... Like, I'm not too used to this kind of idea of a dungeon crawler, so we're going to go easy on myself to start it off. Okie dokie. Ah! Snap look! Snap look! Oh god. Um... Okay. We do not move using the D-pad, we only move using... Alright, 
right, there we go. Okie dokie. Activate. What? Oh, okay. Well, this is mildly creepy. Um. Ooh, what's that? Oh, okay. I thought that might have actually opened the door if I hit all three of them, but no, did not, did not do a thing. Um, um, so literally this is our choices. Dungeon Crawling 101. Always check your corners. common locks. I imagine it would probably be best to do it with our um, intelligent people. Life potion. Uh, restore some health. Uh, nobody's lost any yet, so we'll leave that as is. Searching into caverns, don't know where we're going, wandering into the dark. Wandering to the dark. Gonna get myself stabbed by a thing I don't know. Oh, armor cloth. Uh, it would best be on you, I think. We restore some mana. Oh, we haven't used it yet, so. I haven't actually ran into a single enemy yet, so I'm pleased with my adventure so far. It feels safe! Um, oh, game saved. Fantastic. That was very nice of you. So it does it after so many steps. I am not getting lost in this ca- whoa. Okay, I uh, can't go that way. I'm gonna go to where towards the light. Light is good. A wood hammer? Ooh. So it might be a good idea to give it to somebody who actually uses melee. Oh shit! <laughs> ah shit! Um shit! Ah shit! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know how to attack. <laughs> Oh, die, you piece of shit! Die! Oh, they're dead! No! No! Not like this! Not like this! Ah! Motherfucker! Oh, that for a wooden hammer! Son of a bitch. Now I have no idea how to get back to that goddamn health potion that I had. Um, yeah, that's not good. Well, everybody's dead, so, um, let's just wander into the darkness again. You never know what we might find. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm so dead. Wait, is this where I came in? Can I leave the dungeon and save myself? Is there actually an option? Is that an option? Can I go home? No? Alright. Great to know. <sighs> dungeon crawling 101 easy mode everybody's dead I'm just gonna follow the torches torches mean light light means health or hope I don't know yeah it probably means bosses that's exactly what it means <laughs> Shit. Is that the way I came? Yeah. Something is out of place. Son of a bitch! Motherfucker! Well, that's alright. I didn't need that leg anyway. I'm just gonna hobble along here, go in through this door. I got the right one before actually getting killed. I could hear the spiders behind me. Woo! Oh, no! No! I'm getting killed! You can hear them killing me! Oh! No! No! I won't survive. All right. Jeez, I'm still getting hit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as I slowly get poisoned. Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> yes! I failed while still also suffocating. Yes! Oh, perfect. So, um, yeah, the, 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 the monkey tavern. The trials of the monkey tavern. What is this again? <laughs> What's it, the adventure of the heroes of the monkey tavern? Um, this is quintessentially what you're going to see plenty of. <laughs> Um, yeah, guys. Mm, oh, weird hair in my mouth. Um, yeah, the Heroes of Monkey Tavern. Old school, classic kind of dungeon crawler. Um, the controls are fairly clunky. Uh, essentially, though, this is actually a throwback. If you've never played a game like this back in the day, then I'd recommend that you go and try it just to, just for your actual, like, knowledge of gaming history, because this is what our 3D adventure games were in the past i think i've played a bunch of these on the super nintendo i've played them on pc they're everywhere it's just one of those things where um i've never i've never kind of like seen i never thought somebody would actually put this in like do this old school style on a modern console but that's typical of the indie departments that kind of like people will make stuff that just doesn't get made anymore and this is a perfect example of it and is that still spiders in the background god damn it, spiders would you shut up stop squinking at me um so yeah this Heroes of the Monkey Tavern. Go and check out the demo. Uh, see if you actually have a better success than me. If you if you find it so much easier than me, tell me that I am absolutely awful as an adventurer. But that was all. Like, I ran into Spider and I killed two of my friends, man. I didn't know how to defend myself. I hadn't actually been in any combat up to that point. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed watching me play through this game, I, can, I will purchase it and play it until my death a number of times as well if you feel like it make sure to comment and like underneath the video and if you enjoyed and like to listen to what i was got to say about this game and would like to hear about other games that i've got uh, in my back catalog of things to play through then make sure to hit the subscribe button way up there or the follow button way down there or wherever the goddamn hell that button happens to be now if you don't want to do either one of those if you don't want to have to follow and get notifications about whenever i'm doing it all you have to do is search for this name pastiche of skin and you'll be able to keep up to date with absolutely everything i've been doing here on the channel is to keep you entertained keep you giggling keep you happy Keep you just moist. Moist with anticipation, I suppose. But uh, make sure just to sleep in pastiche of skin. Remember the name. I'm not trying to hide from you. It's very easy to find me. I'm just, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm everywhere. Really, really, I'm all, just type the name in. You'll find me.
So, um, yeah, if you're watching this on any of the platforms, in particular, YouTube, right up there on YouTube, there will be a box showing you cold opens, uh, playlist series of stuff that I've played here on the channel. Over in the far right will actually be the most recent episode on the channel. And right here will be something for you, specifically for you, based on your YouTube analytics and all the things that you actually gone and watched here on the channel. This will pick a video out of my channel that is recommended for you based on your taste and interests. So go and check that one out. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next dungeon. Bye. <laughs>